What's up, YouTube's PZ Asking here. In this video, I'm going to be uh, giving you guys a sort of first look and initial impressions of um, I work for iOS, um, specifically for the iPhone and iPod Touch. Uh, for those of you who, for those of you who aren't aware of this, this was announced I think two days ago by Apple, or at least it was released two days ago um, by Apple. And uh, it actually did take me by surprise. I wasn't expecting there to ever be a version of this for uh, iOS, but um, yeah, there is. And I have to say, it actually works pretty well. Although there are certainly some things that I think Apple could work out, but keep in mind I have had these program these uh, these this uh, these programs, excuse me, for less than an hour, so that's why this is sort of a first look. Uh, so without further ado, let's go and get into it. Okay, well. I have some uh, bad news for those of you who are coming here expecting to see how Keynote works. Um, I don't have Keynote yet. Keynote is definitely not one of the programs I'm the most interested in. Um, but I do have pages and numbers. So, yes, I'll be able to show you those. Um, but Keynote I don't have yet. But eventually, whenever I get some, uh, if I ever get some more iTunes money, maybe I'll buy it, you know, just so that I can have it. But I'm not really that into PowerPoint and stuff. and. You know, I just, I, I didn't, I don't want Keynote that much. It's certainly not the thing I was most excited about. But I was really excited about um, pages and uh, numbers. So, I have those in this uh, folder that I named iWork. So, let's show you the icons. So, the, uh, the icons are pretty much what you'd expect from, you know, the uh, Mac. So, anyway, let's go ahead and start with pages. Alrighty, so, pages, here we go. So open it up, and uh, here it is. Actually, it does take a while to uh, start up, but uh, I had it in multitasking apparently. All right, one of the biggest gripes I'm going to say right now is that this is a portrait application. So if you go to turn this landscape, it's not going to do anything. Um, so I honestly thought I was not expecting that. I honestly expected there to be a uh, landscape mode, but I guess there isn't, so we're stuck with portrait. Um, so, wah, wah, wah. Anyway, um, but that is a big deal. I was really expecting it to be in, uh, in uh, landscape, too. Alright, just uh, changed exposure settings, so hopefully it's not as washed out to you guys. Alrighty, so anyway, this right here is an introduction to um, pages. I have not looked at that yet, but I might look at that later on, because I'll probably, that'll be some good reading material for tonight. But I just tap the plus button, it's giving us some options here. It's allowing us to either create a document or we can copy it from iTunes, iDisk, or WebDAV. Um, well, we're not interested in copying it, we're just going to make a, uh, a new document. Also, you do keep in mind, I will, I most likely will have a full review on, on these programs later on. But this is just my initial impressions and sort of a first look. So, so you get a very wide selection of templates, you can choose either blank or there are a lot of templates here. You can, uh, I don't know, just uh, kind of give you a sort of run through of those. So it's nice that they gave you a lot of templates. I don't know if you can make your own templates. That's something that I kind of doubt, but maybe you can. Let's just make a blank document just for heck of it. So basically, you know, it's just, uh, it's basically like Microsoft Office Word in your pocket and it's or if you're a Mac user it's basically pages in your pocket uh, obviously it's a lot more simplified um, uh, hello YouTube oops let's actually change that from an R to an E um, so there we go so there's hello YouTube and something I can do is that if I select the text so select all because that's all there is. Hit style at the end there. Um, actually, never mind. Don't hit style. I hit this information button. It'll give me some um, little things here. Now, something I really like about this is that if I choose tile, or excuse me, title, and you can also go through and choose some other stuff, but I'm just going to use title for now. I'm now going to hit the down button. You see how you saw how it zoomed out there. All right, well, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit enter twice. I'm going to hit the uh, I button again. So it does get a little bit annoying, but if I go to body down here, it zooms in. So that way you can see what you're typing easier. That was something I found, I found to be a nice touch. So, you know, now I can go ahead and say this is... Yes, 
And if I want to, um, now let's say I want to insert a picture somewhere. And guys, keep in mind I'm still not super good at this, but if I want to enter a picture, I just tap the picture button right up here so I can keep this thing in frame. There we are. And let's back out of that. So you can see here I got, um, if you hit go under media, you can insert uh, some pictures. So I have in my camera roll, I do have my logo right here at the very top. So I'm going to tap that. Uh, pages don't allow that. There it is. Whoa, that's a bit big. My <laughs> there we are. And I can obviously move this wherever I need to. And it copied it. That's interesting. Didn't want it to copy it. I just want to move it. Let's actually uh, delete that. I don't know why it copied it. Yeah, and I can make it obviously you know smaller. That's good that it keeps it uniform, like that. And you see how when I'm moving this around, how the text is moving? Like, here, let me see if I can zoom in for you. You see how when I move, move, or, let's get over here. When I move this around, the text is moving around with it. Uh, that's to give it a silhouette effect. Uh, if you don't know what that is, um, maybe, I don't know. But yeah, you can add pictures. Um, now you also saw in this little thingy here, you have uh, tables. So let's tap tables. And you can add tables. Go through here. There are your tables, right? So this charts. And you just get a. Actually, there's not very many, uh, you know, like 3D styles or anything. You just have color variations and shapes. So you can add different shapes and such. So yeah, actually, you don't slide up. You scroll across. So you can do that. Now, the um, charts stuff here. Um, you know, I actually was kind of surprised by this. Um, if I were you, if you want to get pages and numbers and that's it, only get pages. I don't know if really numbers would be, uh, maybe, I mean, numbers might be a bit more capable at some stuff, but making charts and um, pages is very, very similar, if not identical, to making them in, uh, in numbers. So identical, in fact, that I kind of wish I did not buy numbers, but there you go, I have both programs. But yeah, you can make a chart and all that stuff, and it works the same. So let's actually insert one for some reason. And uh, I have to get used to this chart styling because uh, you kind of size it like uh, with the... Oh, what the heck? Oh, I guess you use that, all right. Uh -huh, but you kind of slide this around to... Um, maybe not, I guess not in this program. I don't know, like I said guys, we're still not very good at this. Oh, that's how you set the uh, the rows, sorry. Uh, that little um, thing, that um, actually it's called a spinner. I think it's called a spinner button. Um, but that thing that just came up with the big numbers in it um, is how you set how many rows and columns you want. But if you want to resize it, you just use these, I guess. So yeah, we'll make it, well, actually I just want to move it over here-ish. Maybe, uh, I don't know. But yeah, and then you can go in here and enter the data. And some I also am not too sure I'm fond of. Although it might not be able to demonstrate here. I guess not. Never mind. But yeah, that's how you um, insert tables and stuff. Again, i got to get used to this stuff. I'm just trying to uh, give you guys basically what you can do with it. But I'm not exactly good with this program yet. I need to work and figure out all the different stuff that you can do. So if I tap, double it. How do I delete this? Anybody know? I would like to delete it. Uh, I guess I just... Uh, oh. Obviously, just tap there and hit delete. There it goes. So there's the chart. It's gone. And you can, again, also, you can insert charts. Um, we'll actually go more. I'll, I'll try and go more for that in uh, pages. And you can also insert shapes and such uh, if you want to uh, do that for some reason. And you can obviously resize that. And it's sort of, Oh, you can actually insert text, too. That's good. Uh, anyhow, let's go and just uh, hit done and delete that. Maybe. Tap, tap, delete. So there we go. Um, if you hit the settings button here, you will obviously get some settings. I can... <clears throat> I'm not just getting dry. You can hit share and print. Um, and this will allow... Oh, shoot. This will allow you to email it. So if I hit email document or blah, 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 I'm going to hit email document. The nice thing about this is that you can save it as a pages document, you can save it as a PDF or a Word document, so that's really cool. So I can actually send this to my uh, email and edit it with Word. 
which I think is really awesome. And I also like can make PDFs with it. I think that's really, really neat. Um, <clears throat> let's just go ahead and make it a, uh, well, you know, you all, you all know how that works. You just make it into a PDF, and then you can do whatever you want to with that. Um, if you want to just read it, I would recommend saving it as a PDF. If you want to send it to a Mac, send, save it as a Pages document. If you want to send it to a PC, send it as a Word document, obviously. You can search the document, document setup. This is kind of interesting. It's like this blueprint. I have yet to figure out what all this means. Um, ruler. So I guess this is just uh, how you measure the paper and stuff. So that way you can, I guess you can format your document for whatever size paper you're going to use. Settings, word count, um, check spelling, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, uh, actually, I wonder what happens if we turn on word count. Does it show us the, uh, yeah, it says right there. That would actually annoy me, so let's turn that off. Word count will be off. And you can go to help where it will give you some help, which is good. So, uh, that is it for pages. That actually turned out to be a little longer than I intended it to, so I guess I'll just make it its own separate video. Um, but yeah, not, you know, I'm just, uh, I'm still working all out how to use all this stuff, but, uh, there you go. So, uh, that is it for pages. If you want to see numbers, um, go ahead and click on its icon down there. And, uh, you can see what numbers looks like. So, go ahead and click that. Thanks for watching.